No. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome to the mental house with me. Your host, Khadija. Y'all not convinced yet that the world is going insane. And it is that pretty much, I can't be convinced that it's not, that the end is not here. Um, and at least the end is we know it, which COVID uh, proved to be valid. But this story really disturbed me on so many levels. Um, and I think I'll just share it with you. Um, I mean, it's, it's, it's an incredible messed up story. And there's no way around it. You can't, <laughs> you can't make no excuses for it. And um, it's one of the reasons why uh, you know, some of us have sunken so low that we can kiss the stomach of a fucking um, grass monkey. Police are currently on a hunt for four attackers who bludgeon a 61-year-old disabled woman with a cooking pot and then ran off with her walker in New York City. The incident occurred at 8.20 p.m. on Thursday in the Harlem neighborhood of Manhattan. Video released by the New York Police Department, the group can be seen in a confrontation with the victim if one, one of them drags her to the ground. Another then begins beating her with what appears to be a cooking pot as a man in a white shirt, a white shirt hovers nearby. The woman is seen cowering on the floor as the beating continues. Police say the attackers ran off with cash, credit cards, and the woman's walker. Oh, my God. No, Bear. No. And the woman's walker, y'all. Did y'all hear what I said? The victim was taken to Harlem Hospital where she is recovered from her injuries. Detectives are still hunting for the attackers. And if y'all don't turn these fools in, I don't know what to say. I don't know if there's any hope for the hood if y'all don't turn her these, these fools in. This is somebody's grandma. Somebody's great-grandma. What the? Okay. This is the latest attack to occur in New York City to a woman over the age of 50. So they're going after elderly people because they're so cowardly and so punctified. On July 2nd, a 76-year-old woman was seriously injured when she was shoved to the ground by a man walking a dog in Brooklyn. Following the incident, a 70-year-old woman was attacked hit in the head while on her way to a doctor's appointment. A few days later, a man was caught on a surveillance uh, camera July 15th, sucker punching a 60-year-old woman in the back of the head at Grand Central Station. Then on Saturday, a 58-year-old woman was left with a critical brain injury after being dragged down the stairs by a mugger at a Manhattan subway station. That's what y'all doing now. You're going after old people, huh? Y'all, some we some we get we some wicked, wicked. We are living so far beneath who we are. These black folk, okay. So if any of y'all want to ask, oh, uh, who did these is moolies? These is moolies. Mooly Malians out there beating up old people, robbing old women. Punks.
NYPD data shows that shootings have spiked nearly 28.9% in the 2021 compared to last year. So that's going to validate why, you know, hey, why you need police? Because see, these Negroes beat each other to death. They beat, they go after their elderly. I, I, I'm so disgusted with this. The biggest leap in crime rates for the hate crimes, which has surged by 118% in the last year. This data comes amid numerous attacks on Asian Americans in the city. Okay. Eric Adams, the ex-cop who is the Democratic candidate for the New York City mayor, warned last Wednesday that no one is going to come back if violence and a particular gun violence in the big continues. The Brooklyn Borough President appeared at an event with Governor Andrew Cuomo last week as the two political leaders presented a united front in addressing the worrying rise of crime. No one is going to come back to our multi-billion dollar tourism industry if three-year-olds are being shot in Times Square. I, I mean, for real. You know, come on. Where is the self-accountability? Y'all talk about everybody else with self-accountability and responsibility. Where is ours at? Where is ours? Who going to get an account for these fools running around our communities shooting babies and old people? White people? You want to blame that on white people too? Adam 61, a Democratic primary for this year's mayoral race, and will become the mayor of New York if he defeats Republican Curtis Sliwa. Y'all remember him uh, from the Guardian Angels. He ripped New York judges and bailed reform laws for not doing their part to combat the rising crime rates. He also judged, he also said judges are, are not using tools that uh, they do have at their disposal, like Kendra's Law, which lets courts order mental health treatment in some cases. Our judges are not giving bail on cases where they are allowed to give bail. They're refusing to use Kendra's law on mental health issues, Adams said. We have thrown up our hands and we have surrendered our city. It's time for us to ensure our city is working for the working class, everyday people who are following the laws and saying that the government is going to make sure that we protect them. We got to do some. I ain't trying to hear no more excuses. I, ain't, I really ain't. Not for this kind of stuff. Two-year-old baby around the corner from me shot. Nine-year-old kid around the corner from me shot in our own kitchen. He said New Yorkers don't feel safe because the crime rate is up. And that's not, and it's not that they're being neurotic or overly sensitive. They're right. Well, welcome to America. Ain't that America? The cesspool. The poster child for madness. And murder. And mayhem. I, listen. Let me go. I'll see you in the next video. Please leave me your comment. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm overthinking this. Can somebody help me out out there, please? Please? What have we become? We beat up old people, shoot kids, and, and beat down older people now, take their social security checks and their wallets. And ain't nobody in the community saying nothing about it. Nobody. What's up? Oh, my God.